It's the NFL on EA Sports. And up next, it's Deshaun Watson. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Browns and the Eagles, and it comes your way next. Jake Elliott is out and ready to kick this one away. And we're underway from Philadelphia. Center return, Naheem Hines. He's got a lane up past the 30. And great starting field position here as they bring him down beyond the 40. So here are the Browns now, headed out for their first drive. They'll be led out by a guy coming off a pair of shortened seasons. The former Pro Bowler now in his eighth year, Deshaun Watson. A 400-plus yard ah. passing day, it takes everybody. It takes protection. It takes your eligible playmakers to make those catches and gain your yards. But it also takes a red-hot quarterback playing with tremendous confidence and belief in what he can do. Now, well, his teammates are counting on him to do it again. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. From the gun, Watson. And he will score. It's a Cleveland touchdown. The Browns take a 6-0 lead right away. And that one, no good. He mishit it on the extra point. The Browns have it on the tee, and they will kick it away here. Starting from the five. Returns looking good so far. They'll begin from the 36 as the returners brought down. So here are the Eagles now for their first drive. They're let out by a QB coming into his fifth NFL season out of Oklahoma. It's Jalen Hurts. As you take the field coming off of a bye week, you really want to take advantage of what you just did. The self-scouting, the evaluating of yourself over the early part of this season. Make sure you capture what you want to do and what you have to do over the rest of the season. This one intended for the running back. So second down coming up. Hurts now from the gun. Short pass. Oh, he loses the football. And the fumble recovery is made. We all saw the brief moment of full-on panic between the ball coming out and him getting back on it. The impressive part is he kept his composure while it was still loose. One mistake didn't become two, and he cleaned it up before any defenders could. Complete beyond the marker. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. That one ends up a gain of six. And that's good for an Eagles first down. Completed left side to Smith. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They run it with Saquon Barkley. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. All I could tell him there was good luck. <laughs> you get a safety all over a run like that, they could just smell it like a shark with blood in the water. And you feel fortunate if you're even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. On third down, it's Hurts. Has a man, it's Brown. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. Now on fourth down, on comes Braden Mann to boot this away for the Birds. This one carries out of bounds. Not the greatest field position awaiting them. It's spotted at the 11. The Browns and quarterback Deshaun Watson gearing up for their next series. And among dual threats in the NFL so far this season, there has been no equal. He's leading all quarterbacks in rushing yards to this point. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. From the 16. Pass brought in by Amari Cooper. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Out of the gun, here's Watson. 
He's on the move. And just how they teach you, he gets a chunk of yards and slides down at the end to protect himself. New set of downs for him from the 46. Watson on first and 10. Rolling left, buying some time. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Back to the air, Watson. Moore's got it. And a solid gain there. Gets him across the 45 before he goes out. Third and a lone yard coming up. Chubb going for the marker. And it's a nice gain off a really good effort there just to stay upright. Loose slate of downs to approach here from the 40. First down, and they go right back to him. And with a nice gain, he runs him down inside a field goal range. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. So before they... We're ready now for the second quarter. Brown's in control of it. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Buys time, rolling right. He tucks it and takes off. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Working from the gun, Watson. The Eagles swarm in and take him down. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. For how well they were moving the ball on this possession, surprising. Surprising to see them get caught up now. And even more surprising, Kate, to see them knock so far backwards with the sack. At this point, well, you've got to get back on schedule. Maybe even a manageable fourth down if you don't get the first. He was looking at Amari Cooper's way there. So that brings up fourth and long. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Third down pass didn't work, but the offense staying out there on four. They're going for it. Here's Watson. Sheds up a rusher. He can't get away. They get the sack and force a turnover on down. Eagles in a good spot here as they come up to the line. First and ten. Starting on the ground here with Barkley. And he's got it up to midfield and into Brown's territory. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Shotgun snap for Hertz. Goddard makes the catch. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Option play, they give it to Barkley. And they needed more than one defender there. Powerful runner stop for just one yard. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Operating from the gun, here's Hertz. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. And he's going to be out of bounds right along the 20. All set up now for first and 10. No contact! No contact! No contact! Working inside the red zone. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And they get this down to the seven yard line. The Browns take the first of their three timeouts. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. First and goal at the seven. 
They sent a tight end in motion. They're gonna run with it. Oh, they get to him behind the line, and he loses the football. And no turnover. It's gonna stay with the offense. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Barkley on the shotgun handoff. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on second and long, and it leaves them behind the chains on third. Back to throw, Hurts. And he didn't get enough into that throw. That's low and incomplete, so they're going to be facing fourth down coming up. Jake Elliott out to put up three for the Eagles. This from 28 yards away. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that cuts the lead in half. Down to three. Volley set up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Return starts at the three. The Browns headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And he already has a passing touchdown in this game. As you can see, that's what he's done with regularity all year, sitting among the NFL leaders in that category. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Second and three now. Watson now, off play action. Come on. You know, Kate, we talk about these wide receivers all the time and their incredible body control, but I'll say this. These pass rushers in this day and age, the body control they have to get home on these sacks, but more importantly, to create these strip sacks is so hard to do, and that is a master's class in how to take the ball away. Well done. Timeout taken by the defense. They're second. Hurts setting up to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Hurts. Taking it. Oh, baby, he gets rocked and the ball is out. And this is oh, my. Defense as he makes the recovery. Almost the impact play this defense was searching for, but they could only get half the job done, partner. Fumble forced, but they couldn't recover. I'll tell you what else it forces, though. That coordinator, that play caller on the other side, now got a little bit of doubt about his... And he scores! It's a Philadelphia touchdown! The Eagles parlay the turnover into a lead. Saquon Barkley the touchdown! That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Fielded at the seven. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Set. To throw. Here's Watson. Forced out to his right. Now he takes it. And he's going to be out of bounds just before reaching the 30. Well, you don't get the first down, but I'll tell you this, Kate, that drives the defense and the defensive coordinator nuts. They do everything right. They win, and yet still QB makes something out of nothing. From the 28. Escapes out to the left. Now here he goes again. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. It's the two-minute warning now from the lead. Here's Watson, first and ten. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Trying again, following the set. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it 
was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and force the incompletion. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Here's Watson. He fires one deep down the left sideline. You know, I love this, Kate, from an offense. Just but philosophical. Stretching that secondary out with your tight end. Even still, one of the deeper targets you're going to see him get. It's a shame they couldn't quite connect. Right. What the fuck? What a stop to that return. And after the punch, the offense comes out onto the field. And the Eagles will take possession. On first down, Hurts. To the left sideline, complete. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. To the line we go. They're set, first and 10. Hurts looking to throw. Able to get it to Barkley. And they get this down to the 12-yard line before being stopped. Timeout taken by the Eagles. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. They'll come up first and ten. Hurts now from the gun. The throw is caught. What a hit. He gets flattened to the ground. Second and three now. Hurts throwing again. Escapes the pocket. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles will add to their lead at the end of the half. Jalen Hurts with the touchdown. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. seconds remain in our opening half. Let's see what they do with it. First and ten. Here's Watson. On oh, the move. Headed right. He's keeping it. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. He had to pick up a 14 yards as the chains reset. From the 44-yard line now, first and ten. From the gun, Watson. He's throwing deep to the left side. And that's incomplete, and it also stops the clock with just five seconds left. That was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, they just couldn't quite hang on. He's trying to go. He's got it inside the 25. And somehow they've reached the end zone with no time remaining in the half. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. No need for halftime. We'll just keep it right here and get started with the third quarter. Browns have it on the team, and they will kick it away here. Has this at the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. Philadelphia has its offense out to start this third quarter. And they really lean on that passing game in the first half, Brock. Let's see if that emphasis continues to start the third. Oh, the football's loose. Come on. How many fucking fumbles? Ooh, so close to a big play defensively there, Brock. But now these guys got to stay out there. They were unable to bring in the fumble. They just forced. They do. Got to bring a little bit of juice. But kind of like a boxer, when they get a guy cut, they know. Man, if I get that first cut, I can make them bleed. And you get that ball out the first time, I guarantee you, I promise you, those guys are thinking they'll get it the next. Third and long for him here. 
He's on the move. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's an option to the left side. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Back to the line they go. It's second down. This time it's a passing play. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Now Hurts. Searches. The Browns close in and take him down. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. The Eagles are in punt formation. Kick is away, and this one might bring rain. Wow, what a kick. Taken at the two. Broke through the tackle. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Browns are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And it's not just a blip for him this year. He's been one of their go-to scorers on the ground as we get through the heart of this season, leading all quarterbacks in rushing touchdowns. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he pressed those tackles. That is a DB's best friend's pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. Back to the air, Watson. Chased out to his right. He takes it himself. Jukes out a one stop. That's a 38-yard play for him to move the six. When we bring this game to a close, Brock, I think one of the stories we're all gonna be talking about is the type of showing this guy's had, not spinning the ball, but running it. It's been just gritty. It's been determined, kid. It's been tough. And when they needed a play, he's dug deep and he's willed this offense forward, coming through with the type of run the moment asked for. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. And he will score. It's a Cleveland touchdown. The Browns grab the lead on their first series of the half. It's a Jerry Judy touchdown. So he finds his man in space, and then the wideout takes advantage. Nice finish there to take it in for six. Yeah, no question about it. We know points are always a premium in this league, and this really becomes a three or four point. And he's going to be taken down for the sack. They can't even get a throw away on that two-point try. You spend all week on two-point plays, trying to get to your best options, but ultimately sometimes the execution of that pass, it doesn't work. Returnable from the two. And this drive will start inside the 25. Philadelphia's offense back out for another drive. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. First down throwing for Hertz. No hesitation, and that one's caught. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Here's second and seven. Quick hitter complete. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. All plays on the table here for third and three. Shotgun snap for Hertz. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, he's going to run for it. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Marker's reset, ball at the 37. First down, a run with Barkley. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and 10. Operating from the gun, here's Hertz. That 
it's into the hands of Barkley. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Here's second and 11. He's got Brown on the slant. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the Personal field. Foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. Well, he had a chance to pull up and avoid the hit, Brock, but we knew the outcome from the moment he decided not to and made contact. That flag came out. First and ten. Here's Hurts. Short pass caught by his tight end. They drop him with a big hit. At least he's able to hold on for the game, but boy, Brock, what a shot. From the 24, into traffic, complete! And he's gonna be stopped at the 17-yard line. They get six and a first down as well. Sending a receiver left. From the red zone now. Toward the side of the end zone, but that one's incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. And that'll bring up second down. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks no, it away no, no. the next time. Well, he could get two no, hands no, no. on it and take it the other way. No, no. From the pistol, Hurts. And he makes the catch. Did he get both feet in? No. Oh, so close to six. Incomplete. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Great, 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 great. Hurt setting up to throw. Gets it towards the end zone, but it's incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And they've taken back the lead. That's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kicker. He's got a lane up past the 30. This return makes it up to the 37 as he's tackled. The Browns, nice field position here as they start out first and 10. Working from the gun, Watson. Buys time, rolling right. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. Another try following the sack. An all-around tough play for him. He took a shot on the release, and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, He's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Got a man open, left side, complete. Well, most drives should end right there, but they beat the defense and convert on third and 17. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. They give inside to Chung. And without much room to work, he has a minimal gain on the final play of the third quarter. Second down now, seven to go. From the 41. Flush down out to his left. He's on the move. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. And they've got themselves another first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he has this one down to the eight yard line. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. Back-to-back -back carries here. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. 
Uh, you know, Kay, these are not the plays that are like bold in the stat sheet when you look back on it. But these are the kind of gains by the running back to keep the offense on. And he barrels across for the touchdown. The Browns take a fourth quarter lead. It's a Nick Chubb touchdown. He's throwing for it. Forced out to his right. And he gets into the end zone for the two-point conversion. That puts them in a much better spot now. Up seven here in the four. The Browns have it on the team, and they will kick it away here. He fields it from the eight. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. Philadelphia getting ready to go on offense. Still time to go, Bronk, but that touchdown has them down now seven. They've got to find the end zone here. It's, oh, what a hit! Charge the ball loose! And the Browns pick it up! And he's across the goal line. It's a touchdown on the fumble return. York now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Nice little energy on their sideline after that fumble return scored. And with plenty of energy, he'll send this one away. That's going to be taken in at the 8. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Now the Eagle offense headed back out to the field. They're out and set. First and 10. Hurts now from the gun. Pass complete. It's on the turf. The ball's out. He lost it. And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. Well, you don't like to see the fumble, but hey, at least they were able to be the ones to recover it and they keep possession. Yeah, and I think the key there was to stay calm through the chaos. Cooler heads prevailed. Got him the ball back. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. From the 44 here on second down. Able to get it to Barkley. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. A less than ideal third and eight here. Hurts looking to throw. What the this fuck? Oh, this big guy is moving. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles now within one score in the fourth. Dallas Goddard the touchdown. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Here's a return from the seven. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. Ball at the 33 for first down. The visitors ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, is touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here. And if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. complete David Njoku and the tackles made just beyond midfield at the 48 up to the line and they're set first and ten here's Chubb up the middle and he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs they're set up at the 35 now so that brings us to the two minute warning in Philly Browns leading by seven they're set up at the 35 now. Going to the ground again on first. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. So after the two-minute warning, another stoppage here. The defense is calling time. 155 to go. First down, and they go right back to him. Room inside the 10. And he's in. It's a Cleveland touchdown. The Browns go up by two scores as they try to put this one away. It's a Nick Chubb touchdown. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. 
The Browns have it on the tee, and they will kick it away here. This return starts at the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Eagles are ready to set up shop on offense. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. To throw. That's complete. Here's Brown. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Hurry up offense now as time runs down. Oh, no. He lost control of another one. And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. You know they like to say about sports, it's 90% mental? Well, right now with this runner, after three fumbles, it's 100% mental. He's got to hang on to the football. It's in his head right now, and it just can't happen. Philadelphia going to spend its second time out. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. The Eagles decide to spend their third and final timeout. First and ten now from the 30. On the ground, it's a give to Chubb. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Again, it's Chubb. Has some space inside the 15. And he is all the way ahead to the 13-yard line. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and 10. Staying on the ground here with Chubb. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. So the Browns will take this win home with them. And as we play in October, they have kept their perfect start to the season going. To the point, Brock, I think you could...